Okay, let's break this down for you. We're in the key of D. Again, we have the capo on the fifth fret, okay? And what we're gonna really focus on is the kind of the intricate uh, melody playings on top of these simple uh, so cowboy chords, so to speak. So we have this a D shape here, but uh, James Taylor often utilized every little thing you can do around these chords. The beautiful little melodies um, that create create more atmosphere over over these chord changes. So we're gonna have a, a thumb picking pattern that is very standard. You know, similar to Chet Atkins style, but we're not after a percussive, uh, you know, backbeat. We we, we kind of want to just let these notes really ring through. So, okay, so we're over D. Okay, so we're we're picking down. I think that would be the hardest thing to do here is to pull off your pinky finger to your middle and then pull off again to create for on that high E note. Okay, so you can practice that just by strumming down and create that movement. A lot of this is down to muscle memory. Okay, then we get the C. Okay, and, and here I'm pulling off my index finger. Okay. And as soon as I pull off my index finger, my pinky finger is pulling off the B string, third fret to the first uh, fret B string. Then to G. And again, I gotta pull off my pinky finger on the third fret B string there too. Okay, back to D. Okay, so there's a lot of pull offs going on here. slower okay and another technique that I'm doing is I'm using my nail to brush down on the chord Okay, so if you wanted to, you could just practice this technique by having your thumb play the bass line and your finger come down on the chords. Uh, that's also really pretty. Um, have a listen. because my finger is just slightly strumming down and coming back up on those G, B, and D string, B, uh, G, B, and E string. Okay, but f uh, following that, we then get to an A chord. And it's the exact same movement as I'm doing in, in D. Except we're playing like on the strings above. Okay. Back to C. Then G. Can you see how I'm pulling off my pinky to my, my ring and then an open... Uh, B then, so again with another full on pull off. Ok, 
here in the sea. I'm coming down with my pinky again on the third fret B string. And then I just strum down on that G. And then back to the D. Okay, so that's that picking exercise. It's um, probably one of the difficult areas to get all those pull-offs, but I believe if you put in the time and the practice and the patience and get that muscle memory in your fingertips, then uh, you can achieve it. So best wishes with that one.